Right. When we get into graphing, uh, there's some things that you need to do. Now, one thing, hey, uh, one thing is realize we're online, which means you're not actually going to have to do graphs by hand on the test or the assignments. But there is some graphing in the uh, program that you'll do that's coming up for uh, the homework or for the assignment uh, that leads you to it. But some things you, that I still want you to understand about graphing is that this is the origin and it's labeled with a zero in that corner. Okay, so whenever you're doing a graph by hand, it'll be labeled down in that, that part of the origin. That's where the x-axis and the y-axis cross. So the x-axis is the horizontal axis and we label it with an X. Very creative, us math people. The Y axis represents the vertical axis, and we label it with a Y. I know, it's super creative, okay? So those are the things that are important. It's also important to show your uh, grid, your numbers. So if I say this is one, and this is two, and this is three, and if you have graph paper, you have the lines, which means you still number all along the lines. Okay, same thing going up. One, two, three, four. I mean, bigger graphs might go to 50 or whatever, and you could count by fives, for example. Uh, but it's important to label these so that we know what the scale is. Because what if this goes one, two, three, four, and this goes five, 10, 15, 20, we need to know that. And we'll just finish that up. Okay. And again, I know you're not going to be graphing by hand in this course, but it's important to know uh, the x, the numbers on the x-axis go below the axis, and the numbers on the y-axis go to the left side of the y-axis. Okay. And you'll see that uh, on the screen, some things to remember. Right? But that's how you set up the grid. Right? Why did I use this here previously? Something like y equals uh, 3x plus 2, if you remember that from the previous slide. Okay? And remember I substituted in a 4 and I got 14. Right? Well, that's because you can substitute in whatever you'd like. And we're going to build something called a table of values that you're going to see. But think of it this way, x and y. I'm going to do one right here. So if x is negative 2, or 0, or 2, okay, we'll see what we get. Uh, that might get a little big, because I've only gone to 4 in each direction. Let's try negative 1, 0, and 1. And why I can change my numbers is there's no magic. You pick your x. It's something called the independent variable. You pick it. And then you have to figure out what y is based on what you've picked for x. So if I pick negative 1 for x, I have to do 3 times negative 1, which is negative 3, plus 2, and I got negative 1 for y. That's a coincidence that they're both negative 1. If I pick 0 for x, 3 times 0 is 0, and 0 plus 2 is 2. And if I picked 1 for x, 3 times x is 3, plus 2 is 5. Right? So these become points that we can graph. Uh, let's get, well, we'll use red, why not? So negative 1 on the x is here, and negative 1 on the y is here, and you just kind of go like this and like this, and wherever they line up is a point. 0 on the x is here, and 2 on the y is here, so it is right here, you don't want to go left or right. And then 1 on the x is here, and 5 is going to be the next one up there, so I'm going to literally take the 1 up like this, and I'm going to take the 5 over like this, and I'm going to get a point, right? Somewhere like that. Okay. Now, if I've done it accurately, I'm going to end up with a straight line. Okay, let me just get my ruler. Be right back. All right, it's a big ruler. Now, what I'll end up with is a straight line. Now, mine's not perfect because I don't have... A grid, so it's not it's not as perfect as I would like it. My ruler's not perfect either. Why is my ruler perfect? Well, to be honest, I left my ruler upstairs, so I've got a stick instead of going up. Okay, 
But then I, I line it up and see it's, it's a straight line. So I've done it correctly. I put arrows on the end. Okay, I've got a straight line and I've built a graph. So remembering a little, uh, if, if you like to use little words, the word graph helps you out here. And you'll see on the chart, right? You know, grid lines, use yourself a ruler, right? Make sure you label your axis, plot your points, right? All that stuff. So I'll let you look at it for a second. Right? All right. The one last thing that you would do if you were completing this by hand, I would actually state that this is negative one, negative one. This is zero and two. And this is one and five. I put those in. Okay? So what you've done is you've taken an equation and turn it into the picture of a graph. Okay? You'll see more of it on the slides as we go, but that's kind of a full layout for you. See you next slide.